Uh, let's kick off then with, with the meat of this issue. We saw some Hi, sharp Yusuf. market moves. And just for additional context, we put this up for our clients to take a closer look at. GTV Go is the key function. The Italian bond spread over, over their Spanish peers at the highest level in six years. Do you expect Mr. Mattarella and his coalition partners to hold firm, perhaps setting the stage for early elections here? I think the likelihood of uh, early elections in Italy uh, looks as though it's been one of the, the trigger behind the, the relief rally we've seen in the euro because the potential of new election uh, at least increases the likelihood of a new government that could potentially be a bit more fiscally responsible. So helping uh, push down uh, uh, runaway Italian bond yields. And also the, it also raises the likelihood of a less Eurosceptic uh, government. But it's way too soon to tell right now how the political dynamic in Italy will unfold. Uh, not too sure. There, I mean, generally speaking, uh, at this stage, uh, political uncertainty in Italy uh, remains elevated. And uh, this is one of the reasons why we see a limited upside for the euro, at least in the, uh, at least in the near term. Elias, very good morning to you. We've also popped into the, the BTV library, the CDSs. Good morning. CDSs are bid, and I'm talking about the, the new form of CDSs. The market, to a certain extent, is extrapolating re-denomination risk. Have you discussed that? I mean, no, not really. I mean, I think the, uh, if, you look, if you look at uh, you know, the, the previous spike in Italian bond yields, they've been really uh, driven by the, fis the potential for... Uh, uh, fiscal prolification by uh, the, this coalition uh, government, but with this coalition now essentially broken up, uh, the risk of, uh, of a destabilizing uh, fiscal policy out of Italy has significantly been reduced. Now there's a lot of uncertainty left uh, how Italy's political situation will unfold. It's still way too soon to tell. You now you have the political uncertainty in Spain as well to add to the mix. Uh, to the mix. So generally speaking, the political backdrop in the Eurozone uh, remains a, a factor that will, uh, at least in the near term, continue to, to limit upside for the European currency.